grade four math practice test for T and ready. Question number one. It says, what is two one hundredths plus seven tenths? Now, in our best of dreams, we would add two and seven and be ready to go. Unfortunately, the denominators, that'd be the numbers on the bottom here, are not the same size. Well, the purpose of a denominator is to tell us how many parts we're going to break the whole piece into. So, uh, two one hundredths would be two little small blocks out of a hundred total blocks. I actually drew, um, put together this little base 10. Listen, I know that these are supposed to be the same size and they are not. Just lie to yourself for right now. Okay, thanks. So this is what two one hundredths looks like. This is what seven tenths of that same size block looks like. As you can see, significantly different. So we can't compare them straight away or we can't operate with them like this. We need to find a common denominator. In order to do that, we're actually going to break them into the same size piece. And since we can't go down to 10, and obviously these things are not going to be straight lines because I've already ruined that possibility. Oof. Put them way too close together for that to make any sense. Um, so I'm going to break these 10 blocks into additional 10. No, too close. And I'm never going to get it the way I want it, but I didn't want it to look as bad as it was going to look before. Because I have not great standards, but I have some standards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now I have this in the hundreds, so this is 2 out of 100. And now I have this one broken into hundreds. And if I count all these up, I end up getting 70. Now I can just add those two together and get 2 one hundredths plus 70 one hundredths. Will you say, I don't want to draw those boxes when I'm taking a test? That's totally fine. Let's talk about how you can do that. And by the way, the answer to this one is D. What else could I do? Okay, so I know I need a common denominator, which is to say I need the same size on the bottom. I'm going to need to use my multiply brain here a little bit and think, okay, what number can both 100 and 10 go into? Well, I know that 10 times 10 is 100. Well, that makes sense. So now I'll just keep this one as it is because I don't need to change it. And for 7 tenths, if I multiply the denominator by 10, I can get 100. If I multiply the numerator by 10, I can get 70, because 7 times 10 is 100, or 7 times 10 is 70. Sheesh. And now I can just replace that back down here. Got my same size common denominator there. And then just 70 plus 2 gives me 70. So if you don't have the same denominator, you can't just go ahead and add them together, and you definitely don't put the numbers next to each other. That's not how that works at all. You need to find a common denominator. Look for multiplication that you already know. At this level, you're probably working with something where you can multiply one <clears throat> denominator by a number to get the larger one. So try to get to the bigger one if you can. 10 times 10 gives me 100. That makes sense here. And I just apply the same thing. If you do something to the numerator or the denominator, you have to do it to the numerator and then rewrite. And then you get your final answer of 72 over 100.